Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video, I'm going to create a community and push them to the GitHub. So for that, if you go to the roads, web road, and here we have the group of road we need. We have this road resource for communities. So in the community controller, we have the create method. Now here I'm going to say return. And because we are using inertia, let's say inertia render, and we need to render the component. And for now we don't have so that's how we are going to uh, create a render the component, and the component is going to be inside the resources JS pages here. I'm going to create a component here, a view component inside the communities directory and let's say create view and now i'm going to say here return that page so community communities slash create okay Now what we need here, let's remove this export. I'm going to use script setup and let's remove the styles. For now, if I uh, just navigate in here and say communities slash create, we see we have a blank page because we don't have anything here. So if I just add H1, create, save, and now we have create here. And you see how good this is because we use in Vite now. We don't need to reload or do anything. Okay. Now in here, I'm going to use the Breeze package components. So here we have the layouts, Quest layout and the authenticated layout. And because we are authenticated, I'm going to use the authenticated layout. If we go inside the pages and dashboard, here we can see we have this Breeze authenticated layout. And I'm going to do the same thing. So let's import this one and go to the create view inside the setup, paste that in. And now let's copy what we have inside the templates and paste it here. Now, instead of a dashboard, I'm going to say create a community here. The title and in the header also the same thing, create community. Now here we are going to add the form. So let's leave it for now as it is. And if I see, yeah, we have the layout and we have this create community here. Now we need only the form. If I open the community table, we need the, the user ID is going to be auth ID. So we need the name, description and the Slack. And for the Slack, I'm going to install the package the auto generate the slack but for now let's add manually so if you go in the create auth uh, register view and i'm going to copy this uh, form here just because to save some time because we have if you go in the components we have some components here and we added them in this form so i'm going to use the components also we can add the title in css forms but just to save some time and i think i don't have copied so let's copy again and paste it here now here we need the breeze label breeze input error okay so we need to uh, import them 
and I'm going to use this breeze button also. And let's remove this because we don't use anymore. And we need also the head and use form for the our project. So let's copy from here and paste it in our uh, setup script. So down there. Okay, let's remove this Breeze Quest layout because we have the Breeze Authenticated layout and we don't need the link. Here we need the use form and the head. The head is because we added the title. And now if you go here, let's create this const form. And the same thing if you go to the inertia.js uh, and see forms. We have this form helper. You can create the form like this, reactive, and add one by one. But if you go to this form helper, this is very useful. You create this const form, use form, and then just say uh, unsubmit prevent form post and the URL. You add the URL here. Okay. So let's uh, do the same thing for our project. Let's use this use form and copy that. Okay, go to the create. And I'm going to separate little bit this one and paste now. For our project, what we need, I said uh, we need the name, description, and the Slack. So name description and slack let's remove this two and let's come up here so create community form submit we don't have this we need to create that and we added the name also the error for the name okay next we need the description and for the description, we need the text area. But let's stick with the input for now. And let's say here, description. OK. Let's copy that and paste it in here, also in here and in here description okay and now the same for the slug but let's me remove the others okay remove also this uh, link here and leave it only the button and here we have the disable form processing. So when this form is processing, it's going to disable the button. So we don't uh, hit again that button unless this uh, process is finished. Okay, so let's add the slug also. And I'm going to copy this one, duplicate it. So copy, duplicate because it's going to be the same and change the name to be slug okay also slug here and now let's create this uh, submit form uh, sorry method so copy that go to the script and paste that in now the road is going to be not register but it's going to be communities slash uh, store not slash sorry dot store okay and on finish you can add uh, 
any option, but I'm going to just remove for now the options and just say form post community store for now. Go to the browser and refresh. Now here it is the form. It's not looking very nice because we need the card. So if I come here, what is missing for the from the form? And the quest layout and the form. Anyway, let's go and uh, in the create. Let's cut this other div with a max a max with MD okay BG slate 100 margin 2 and padding 2 okay and we need to add the MX auto here And let's close the div and paste that form inside. And yeah, now we have something like this, but maybe change this BG to be white. Yeah. And let's add padding to B6. Okay, now it's more okay. Now we have the name, the slug, and the description. When we hit that, now first, if I say register, we have an error because we don't have to show anything in the store. Let me change first that the register to be store. Okay, and now let's go to the community controller inside the store method. Here we have, instead of this request, we have the request we created. So community store request dollar sign request. And we are going to say community model. create and add dollar sign request validated. And then let's return to the road. Uh, we don't have anything inside the communities. dot index but the, there we need to return so let's do that and let's try now let's go first to the community store request and change this authorized to be true and the rules add the rules here so we need to add the rule for the name which is going to be let's add required and also it's going to be unique to the communities. Let's copy and duplicate this because it's going to be the same for the slug. And now the description 
let's say just required and minimum of uh, five okay refresh let's say store and the name field is required and the slug field is required but for the description why we don't have that description okay go in the create and here we need to say description not username okay and autocomplete Yeah, now we have the out of focus from here. Remove and refresh now. Yeah, now we have the focus in the name. And let's try and register a new community so i'm going to say laravel also here laravel and description laravel community let's say store okay we need to add the user id so let's go in the community controller and here when you say create and add the request validated also we need to add the user id which is going to be auth id and last one laravel laravel and say here laravel community store now if i uh, come here and go to the data we have the community we are not redirecting to the route community index because here in the index we're not showing anything so let's just say here return okay and go and try and create one more so let's say Vue.js Vue.js and say Vue.js community store and now we have this okay so what we return from the index method okay friends that's it about this video how we can store the community in our database create the community, create validation, and now we need to push to the GitHub or code. So say git add, git commit, and say create community. Okay, and say now git push. Very good. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you in the next one.